morning, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman, and uh, I hope y'all are having a blessed day. It is Friday. Chris is in the kitchen prepping because we will be cooking a big meal for tomorrow for his side of the family, and um, we got it going on this morning, and so um, I hope y'all are having a blessed Friday. We are going to be in Psalm today, so if you want to take, get your Bibles and turn to Psalm 13, and it's going to be, no, actually it's Psalm 12, um, man's treachery and God's constancy is what we're going to be reading about today. It says it's um, to the chief musician on an eight-stringed harp, a psalm of David. So we will be reading again, I'll tell y'all, uh, Psalm 12. So if you want to turn your Bibles to there, you can. If you want to follow along while I read, it's not a long psalm. But it has um, some pretty powerful words in it. Good morning, Marilyn. How are you? Um, so, we will be going live later today with um, an Italian cream cake, too. So, I'm getting a message that we're about to have some light rain here. Um, all right. So, let's start the psalm. It's Psalm 12. And it says, Help, Lord. For the godly man ceases. For the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Who has said with our tongue, we will prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the signing of the needy, now I will rise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he yearns. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. You shall keep them, O Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. The, 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 I guess the phrase in this psalm that caught me uh, or made the largest impact on me when I read it was, The words of the Lord are pure words. Like silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times, you shall keep them, O Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. And when I read that, I thought, here David was penning down the psalm. And uh, I'm sure he was led by the Holy Spirit. And this psalm was penned down to be preserved forever. And they are the words of the Lord. And so I thought that was pretty cool because he is reciting the word of the Lord being preserved forever at a time that he didn't even really know for sure how it would be put together, but we'd have it in our wonderful book. And I just thought that was a blessing this morning. So sometimes God works in our lives, whether it's good or bad or whatever we are doing, and he uses it at a later time in a way that we have no idea um, that he could use it. So I thought that was, if, if I'm sure that David um, is with the Lord in heaven and he knows that we have his words pinned down in the word of the Lord. And they're really not his words, they're the Lord's words. And that's why when you read the Bible, you have to have the faith that you need to believe that every word in this Bible is the word of the Lord, not just pinned down by a man and man's words and thoughts. Um, so I just thought that was a real blessing this morning. I hope that y'all got something out of it. I hope you pick up your Bibles and read it over uh, today. And that's pretty much it for our Bible study. I hope um, that... Y'all pray for us tomorrow because we will be driving in pouring rain for two hours to the function and two hours back from the function. 
and um, whenever the weather's going to be nasty like that, it, it worries me a little. So y'all just pray that we are careful, you know, that we're safe and careful. And for all the families out traveling, I know it's the holiday season, and like our family getting together this weekend, there are many other families that are starting to have their parties and get-togethers. So let's say our prayers on this Friday, and um, we will tune in again Monday. And I'm sorry I only came to y'all twice this week, but our schedule's been kind of crazy. So um, I get on here when I can, and when I can't, don't worry, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we just praise you for your word. We praise you for um, using David in a way, um, a mighty way, back in this Old Testament time. And we thank you for preserving his word so that we can read them later. Um, we thank you for your word, um, which reflects Jesus Christ as our Savior and how we need him in our lives. I pray if there's anybody out there that don't know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, that they would come to know him um, as you would have them do, for it is in your will that all be saved. Um, lead God and direct us as we go throughout our day and throughout the weekend. Bless those who bless us and bless those who curse us. And uh, be with our families. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you a little later on CBC making Italian cream cake. Love you.